John Leguizamo is a multi-talented human that has the ability to make us laugh until we cry, cry until we laugh again, and more importantly, through the years, he has made us think. When I caught up with Leguizamo over Zoom, we initially planned on promoting his latest projects, but somewhere along the way, we connected over the current state of Latinos in media and Hollywood. We have a formal introduce, you know, my name is Benny Blanco from the Bronx. Benny Blanco, Luigi, Miss Chichi Rodriguez. This is about jealousy. You're jealous because I'm going out with a cute boy tonight and you ain't hello, goodbye. And John, Leguizamo, the man himself. His career spans more than 30 years and he is nowhere near finished. In his newest film, Dark Blood, Leguizamo plays a father in prison waiting to be sentenced for a revenge crime. This was a bit of a departure. Um, it's in Spanish. How challenging was this role in the challenging scale? of all the, the feature films you've done. Oh my God, I think this is one of the 10 out of 10, the toughest because of the subject matter, the physical discomfort. I did go to the prison, the real prisons in Colombia, and then we shot in a real prison with ex-cons. who were all very gentle, you know, and, and, and incredible because they were constantly commenting on our behavior and making us look real. I was naked in a prison, it was freezing, I was laying on concrete. A Queens boy, and yes, Mets fan, Leguizamo has worked tirelessly to change the perception of Latinos in Hollywood by going against type and by setting the record straight when it comes to Latino culture and history. But yo, what happened in the 3,000 years between our great indigenous civilizations and us? What inspires you and what keeps you in the game? to uplift Latinos? Well, I mean, we have such an incredible culture, first of all. Uh, the myth that we just got here is complete BS because we've been here for 500 years. There is a systematic exclusion of us. Well, uh, Latinos aren't underrepresented. We're excluded. So that needs to change. I mean, the way I help try to help executives look at it is like out of your 10 actors, White people are 60% of the population. We're 20%. Out of your 10 actors on that screen, two of them need to be Latino. The University of Southern California's Annenberg Inclusion Initiative studies diversity and representation in film and media. They looked at the 1,300 top grossing films from 2007 to 2019. They discovered a mere 7% of lead characters were Latino. And over that same time period, nearly 44% of all films had not a single Latino character. We need all our Latin stories constantly told. I want 20% of the stories Hollywood tells because we're 20% of the population, even though we, we're a quarter of the box office and, and huge in streaming. But I'll take 20%, that's all I want. 20% representation in front of the camera, behind the camera, executives. I know for me as a journalist, I've spent the last 10 years specifically looking for Latino stories, right? I feel like. That's kind of what I'm trying to do in my little teeny tiny pocket yeah, yeah. of the world. But it all, it's, it's so important what you're doing. It's so important because every time I see myself reflected in the story, I saw this beautiful story uh, in, in the New York about this young Mexican girl who wanted to be, a, uh, who was going to the Olympics as a 12 year old female boxer. And I was weeping with joy. Legazamo is doing his part with his directorial debut in last year's Critical Thinking. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, what Ivy League school you may go, may not go to, because chess is the great equalizer. The film tells the true story of a group of black and Latino teens from an inner city school in Miami who became national chess champions. Uh, a movie that's a, a passion project of mine that I got to work with great Latin and black kids who have so much talent, so, they're gifted, some of the, the, the future great artists of America. And Leguizamo recently developed a new Latino comic book superhero, Phenom X. All done by Latin hands. The, the artists, the drawers, the illustrators, I wrote it. Because when we see ourselves represented, we understand that we count, that we matter, that we're important. That's what our children feel. When they're not included, they, they get the opposite message, that they don't count, that they don't matter, that they're not important. A message John Leguizamo will continue working to change until real change happens. You know, Latinos like to claim each other, right? Sometimes when we're walking in the street and it's like, I'm sure you get the, John, thank you for doing everything para la cultura. And I, I, I'm going to say, John, thank you so much for doing everything para la cultura. And for, you, and for everything you do too, because everything you do is as important as, as the big guys. 
because every little every little step is going to push us forward to our goals, which is a, a similar goal. We want representation, and we want to be included. We want to have a seat at the table. One hundred percent. Both Dark Blood and Critical Thinking are available on demand now. And if you want to check them out and his new comic book, Phenomix, those will be released next month. Very cool. There you have it, ladies and Very gentlemen. Very cool. John Leguizamo. He is so talented. We said it before, Freak, in my opinion, so is good. pound for pound the best comedy special that has ever existed on this planet Earth. In my opinion, number one, mm -hmm. Freak, John Leguizamo. If you have not seen that, you will see him turn into people. And you're like, you. how is he doing this yeah. right now? And his energy, it's just him on a stage. And I think Spike Lee, did Spike Lee direct that one? I think one? it was did, Spike Lee. Yeah. Did do, yeah. yeah. Oh, freak. I just love that he did, you know, I got introduced to him too for his comedy. And to look at the arc of his life, right. Right. His, he was like, I'm not going to be a one trick pony. Yeah. I'm going to do all of it. Totally. We, even, we were just joking. We were saying, what has he not done? And our floor director said, has he been on the O list? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, he's been on the old. He's, he's been also, yelled at by OG, so there. He, he's also like Benjamin Button. He's like aging in reverse. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. I know it. It's, it's amazing. Right? Know oh, it. goodness. Usually the comedians are the best actors, too. They can find that, that darkness, and they're, they're, they're yeah. so funny and hilarious, totally. and then they find that darkness, and they right. become great dramatic yeah. actors. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah.